Before we get started, again, this video was inspired by Grian. If you want to watch my first part from the first snapshot, go ahead and I'll link that into the description. So that's why those candles and all those other blocks from the first snapshot are not in this video. This will cover all the snapshots since the first snapshot because only a few blocks have been added per snapshot. But this one was a big one, so that's why I'm making a video about it. Anyway, let's do it. Let's do the video. I've actually been on this world for, let's see here... 3.42 hours I've spent making this video and I have not left the world. So I've just been on here for the past four hours or three and a half hours building these things. And I actually think a lot of them look pretty good. So hopefully you guys are ready for this. So without further ado, let's get right into it. To start off, I have this weird building. Okay, this, I don't know like what this is or anything. It's just kind of like a, uh, like a tower or something. But the first layer is snow and then ice and then another portal okay and then this kind of shows how you could use like these glow item frames they kind of look cool just like as like like just little details inside of the of the logs i don't i'm not sure what these are but they do look kind of cool if 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 <laughs> i don't know to be honest but down here this is the main part of this is the snow and the powdered snow you can mix these together and it adds a little bit more texture to it it doesn't really do that much you can't barely tell that it's there but this is the main uh, thing of this place. Watch this. You can make secret rooms inside the powdered snow. Look, you would never even know this was here. You just can go through here. Oh, look at this. And then I have a nice bedroom here. We've got some of these vines coming down. Oh, I really like this bedroom. And then look over here. We've got like a beehive as a drawer. And then we've got these moss carpets as like a... Uh, it's just like the felt on top of the table, I guess. And then we've got one of these little trees. I think this looks like a really nice plant on top of the a table. The flowering azalea. It's a really cool name, actually. But I, I think this looks really good. Just these trees, I love them. I wish they could be placed on, like, any block. Because I have to place them, these on these moss blocks. Which I also love the look of the moss blocks, by the way. But I don't know if I like them in the table setting. But anyway, that's one of the ways you could use them. And then we also got the new azalea leaves and the flowering azalea leaves in the corners on top of the composters for some plants. And then this is just a fireplace. Nothing new there. And this is just a bed. Nothing new here. Oh, right here. This moss carpet. We have a shelf made out of the moss carpet. This entire room is like themed around this moss carpet and these new plants. So I think this room looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and go on to the next one. So over here is this kind of a trap thing. Okay, so if you just have snow like a snow biome or something you could just randomly add some powdered snow right here and then someone could be walking by oh they fall into one of your secret rooms and then you can have like a trap down there or something for them i don't know like just just something that you can do you can think of i don't I, i'm probably not the definitely not the first person to think of that but i don't know you guys do what you want with that information and then over here is the end portal i really want more of these uh Gulk sensor themed blocks, but these do fit in with the end portal really well. These texture, oh my gosh, that was loud noise. This texture fits like looks almost exactly like the the top of the end portal. So I have I built this like end portal room with this as the ceiling, and I think that looks pretty nice. But the problem is, yeah, look at that. <laughs> they just detect you whenever you're walking through here. It's kind of annoying. So I don't, I don't know if I would ever actually use that. <laughs> But I do think it looks pretty good. And over here, we've got a little man. This man's name is Dave. And Dave, he has nice hair. Look at his hair just dancing in the wind. Oh, I love it. Dave, you have a nice nose also. Nice to meet you, Dave. And then next up, we have the pointed dripstone. The pointed dripstone came out a couple snapshots ago, but so did the Skulk Center. And, and I, had, I wasn't in my previous video, so I have it in this video. I'm not sure what exactly you could do with these as build hacks because when you place them down they're not one block so you can't like make lamps out of them or anything so i and they don't these blocks don't look very good next to other blocks i like i kind of like them on their own but they don't fit in with any of the other blocks in minecraft i like i i can't think of a single block they look good with but i i think if you can put them in cool patterns and stuff it that it, it looks pretty nice in some ways and then over here is just one way you can use them is in this bathroom that i built all right, so inside this bathroom, we have a toilet right here. This, this, this toilet is very nice, and this toilet is made out of premium smooth quartz. Oh yeah, this is not the important thing, is it? Right on the walls, we've got glow lichen, li lichen. It's glow lichen, right? I think so. 
And then it kind of looks like flower wallpaper. So you go into a bathroom and they would kind of have like tiles, but some of the tiles would have like flowers on them, not wallpaper. But do you know what I'm do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about? Maybe if I find a reference images, I'll throw it up, but I do think this looks pretty nice as a bathroom wall. And um also inside of the shower here, we've got some shampoo bottles, but the main thing is that the strip stone, it kind of looks like the shower is off and it's just kind of dripping after the shower went off because it doesn't drip very fast. It can't give the illusion that the water is actually on, but it does drip enough if you put uh, water above this, then it does drip. So that's why I have that as like the shower thing. But something that also might look good is the um, spore blossom. The spore blossom up there. It does, you can't like cover up the flower or anything, so that's why I didn't do it. It doesn't look as good, but it puts green, like it kind of looks, it does a lot more particle effects is what I'm trying to say. But it is green, so it doesn't really look like a shower thing. But I think that does look pretty cool and it's something to think about. And then over here we just got some like lotion or something <laughs> on the bathroom counter. <laughs> okay, you guys see this pile of slime blocks? Okay, look at that. Oh, it's raining. I, it For some reason, it takes a while for these to load in, but I do think that looks really cool with all these, um, like, green particles falling on the slime. It, it doesn't look as cool when you look up. I wish you could place, like, some trapdoors or something underneath it and it will just go through it. But I do think this looks pretty cool with just like, raining on the slime blocks. It's almost like the slime blocks are producing the particle. Oh, and then over here, this is one of my favorite builds that I did in this build hacks episode. Oh, yeah, look at this little pond area. Um, this is the main thing on here is the moss, okay? So the moss, it is like an all-sided grass block, pretty much, okay? It kind of looks like a grass block, almost like it. Look at that. See, they're almost, they're very similar. They go well together, but it has all the sides and the bottom all filled in with grass. So... In, like, people would download texture packs so that the sides of grass would show up here so that it would look nicer when they're connected, but instead you can just use this as the edge of the grass and then you don't even need a resource pack anymore, which I think is very nice. So that's kind of what I did here. You can't see any of these dirt um, parts of the grass here. So I, 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 really, I really like this moss block. This is one of my favorite blocks that was added in this. And also these vines. Oh, I love these vines. They look so nice. Can you climb up them? Oh, you can't climb up them. I wish you could climb up them. If you could climb up them, that would be even cooler. <laughs> but some more things that we have. We have these little trees again. And also these trees are actually the size of a full block. So you can actually put them in the ground like this. This is a tree, believe it or not. And that kind of blends in from the moss to the grass. And I think that looks pretty good. And we've also got some leaves in the ground as some grass. And the, we've got these uh, big drip leaves all over the place. These add lots of greenery and they just look really good. And they're also really fun to jump on top of. <laughs> and then we've got these trees over here with the azalea leaves. We need an azalea log, you know, you know we need an azalea log. But for now I just use some strip, stripped oak wood. For the for the trunks of it and I think that looks really nice with it and we've got some of these flowers and we've put even I've even put some moss in the in the leaves which is very brave but I do think it looks pretty good and then over here is the pathway we have the new dirt the rooted dirt coarse dirt and just regular dirt and we've got these pointed drip stones it's kind of like stones or something this is the only way I could think of using these like just as like rocks in the ground. I do think that doesn't, I think that looks pretty good. You can even make some bigger ones too. This would look better in like a mesa setting, but I do think that it looks cool on just the edge of the trails. And then we've got this middle part with these um, small drip leaves that you can only place in water. And I think these also look cool. And I did that on accident. Oopsie. We will leave that because I will probably never be there again. <laughs> I really like the skeleton guy. He looks he looks pretty funny. I love his teeth. He just has big teeth that'll just munch on people. Um, um, um. Also, his eyes follow you kind of. I think this guy over here, his eyes follow you even more. Look at that. Oh, that's so creepy. <laughs> oh, I love I love it though. <laughs> oh. Hello, are you looking up? Are you looking down? Oh my gosh, I love that. And then he's got like a little beard too with these uh, hanging roots. Oh, I love these faces. They're amazing. And then finally, this is my 
favorite build from the thing. I don't know, maybe it was that one, but this one also looks really good. Look at that. Oh, I love this cave. It's basically just like my cave from the lab series, but bigger. And then I added all of these plants and stuff. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. We need these this update out now. I really want to build stuff like this in survival. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> but I really I really like this and you have like stalagmites and stalactites I don't know which one is which but one of them is one of them so that works and these also these vines oops I didn't mean to take a screenshot these vines they give off some light and so it just lights up the entire area and you don't need to use torches to light up your caves anymore or lanterns or anything you can use plants or not even caves you can use just plants to light up your builds. You could do that with jack-o'-lanterns, but these are vines. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I do really think this is a good addition. And I really love this update and this snapshot was an amazing one. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this build hacks video and be sure to like and subscribe. And maybe if we able to get a hundred subscribers, cause last time I got a hundred likes and now I'm gonna make a video, I'll do another special video at a hundred subscribers. So. Make sure you guys watch, go watch the other video that I did, and I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.